Hi there, my name is Suraljit Gupta and in this video, I want to show you the settings for a blog and what each setting does in video cheat. So you can actually load the settings screen by clicking on the blog and then clicking on the settings button over here at the top. So this will bring you the settings screen where you can actually set up all the details for the blog where you can decide how you want to run this blog, how you want it to function and uh, decide you know whether you want to make it automatic or manual. So I'm just gonna run through all the settings and explain what each one does. So let's start with the first one which is don't search YouTube automatically. Alright so once you've put in the keywords over here you can decide whether you want to get new videos from YouTube uh, in, in uh, intermittent whiles automatically or whether you want to do it yourself. In the manual mode, uh, Video Cheat will get the videos only when you click on the search YouTube button which is over here or if you click on the find top videos button which is over here. But if it is set to automatic in every 15 minutes or so, Video Cheat will pull YouTube for the keywords that you've added and it will try to get the freshest videos for the keywords that you've put in. Now this is very handy if you want to leave Video Jeet working fully automatic when you want to concentrate on your other work and you want the blog to get fresh content on the go automatically you can just uh, set it for automatic search and Video Jeet will keep searching YouTube whenever it finds a new video it will add it to the queue and the videos will be added one by one to your blog. Alright, uh, typically I would say that you should keep it unchecked because it is best if you get the videos manually and then you do a quick browsing of the videos, try and spot the ones you really like and there will be some that you don't like or some that are actually in some other language, uh, maybe an advertisement for a competitor or whatever so you can just delete them like this and only keep the ones that you like in the queue. So the videos that are posted to your blog are the ones that will really add value to your business and won't hurt it. So this is how I suggest you should use uh, the, uh, the don't search automatically function. And here's one more thing. If you click on the thumbnail over here next to the video uh, description, it will load up the video in, uh, in your web browser and you will be able to view it and quickly decide whether this is a video that should go into your list or not. Let's go back to the settings menu. And the next one in the settings list is post to the blog automatically. Now if you keep this checked, Video Jeet will post to your blog automatically without your intervention in the, in the periodicity you set after the interval that you set. And this is very helpful. So if you are maintaining say 20 blogs on Video Jeet, you are, you are adding content to 20 blocks using Video Jeet, then this feature will make sure that you don't have to go and click on the buttons and add the videos manually. And here's one more thing. You can actually modify things in the queue. For example, if I want, I can change the title. I can make it whatever I want. I can change the description. I can change the keywords or whatever. And when uh, the video is posted it will be posted along with the changes that you've made so maybe what I can do is I can uh, modify all the videos in the queue very quickly I can modify the titles the descriptions and everything and I can set them up uh, for automatic posting so this means that I won't have to post it manually it will be posted by itself so uh, this is the feature that is automatic posting but if you don't want to enable automatic posting what you can do is uncheck it and then click on post now. So whenever you click on post now, the video will be posted to your blog. So this is for when you're using the manual mode or if there is a video that you really like that you want to post right now, you can click on post now. All right, back to the settings. And the next setting we have is make posts in draft state. So by default, Video Jeet will make the post in published state, which means the viewers will be able to see it but if the post is in the draft state, it will be added to the blog, but it won't be published. So the viewers won't be able to see it. They will only be able to see it when you publish it using the blog administration. 
and this is a great way to uh, pile up posts for your blog that you want to later on check and review and maybe change and when you're ready you can just hit the pub publish button and it will be published to your blog and the next feature is very interesting and I don't think there is a reason why you want this turned off it says ping search engines after posting and this is awesome because what Videojeet will do is as soon as a post is published on your blog it will go to all the search engines like Google, Yahoo and many others and it will tell them about your post it will tell them that you've posted a new article and the search engines will come and look at your post and add it to the index and this is the reason why you will often find that video cheat will actually get you ranked pretty quickly as soon as you add a post to your blog there is a pretty good chance that you will start getting organic visitors without doing anything more so don't be surprised that you know if you're using video jeet after about uh, two three days you will start getting visitors on the auto and that is what many of my users have told me that using video jeet they don't have to do anything they will they immediately start getting traffic without uh, doing any change i think this feature is the one responsible for that the next setting is for the gap between the posts or the interval between the posts you can post with a minimum interval of 45 minutes which means Videojeet will post a video to your blog in every 45 minutes or you can uh, uh, post for 1 hour, 1.5 hours, 40 up to 48 hours which is 2 days and the next thing is pretty interesting this is actually the mind of the software this is where you type in the keywords that are connected to the niche that you're targeting so whatever niche you're targeting try and pinpoint some really nice accurate keywords you could probably use a software like traffic jeet which I've developed earlier which will do the keyword research for you so find the keywords in your niche just type them over here or paste them over here and click on add keyword keywords for example I'm gonna type a keyword here and I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna click on add keyword so this keyword is now added to my list and whenever video jeet will look on YouTube it will also find the videos for all the keywords in the list which means it will look for computer repair and also for motherboard repair and this is another interesting feature suppose you're following some specific channels that you really like you can add them to video jeet and video jeet will only get the videos from those channels so you can either make it a hybrid of uh, keywords and channels or if you want to follow maybe five six different channels just get their videos you could do that too so what you do is just type in the channel ID that is not the complete URL not this one just the ID for example my cat videos so typically the ID would be at the end it would be something like HTTP youtube.com slash my cat videos so you just need the ID part put it there click on add channels and video jeet will start pulling the videos from this channel and put it posting them to your blog and next to that we have another interesting little feature which says add this content below each post now this is where you put in whatever content you want to post below the page below the below the video so you can put in things like affiliate links your advertisements uh, your message or whatever backlinks you want to uh, put in there you can put anything you want and this supports HTML so you can put in a hyperlink so create a hyperlink you will have to create the standard anchor tag so this could be something like my site dot com and close it and visit my site or whatever you want to say here and close the anchor tag so this is how you post a link it has to be a complete anchor link it supports HTML so you can put in any HTML you can make it bold for, like this and you can uh, you know typically actually do anything you want you can even put an iframe if you want over here so choose this feature if you want to uh, put in some content below the uh, below the below the posts the next field we have is post only in this category this will actually let you post to a specific category in WordPress or a tag in Blogger. All you need to do is type in the category's name. For example, uh, I can put in the technology category by just typing in technology and that's all that's needed. 
the next one is use this embed code this is the embed code which will be used for rendering the video from YouTube and it's set to the standard uh, size of 420 and 315 but you can put in any content that you want you can put in any embed code that you want you can just modify this tag and um, render the video the way you want uh, and this is the important part of it the URL video code which will be replaced in the tag so make sure you put in the video code wherever you want the uh, video uh, ID to be placed so just uh, you know I, I don't think you'll be doing this if you don't understand uh, YouTube videos and embedding so much but if you do then be by all means you can modify the embed code and render the video the way you want alright the next feature is connect this blog to Twitter you can choose to automatically post any videos that are posted using video Jeet to Twitter by using this feature just click on this and it will take you to Twitter you will have to get a pin paste the pin over here click submit and then it will be connected to Twitter and every time you post a video to your blog a link will be posted to your Twitter account this is a great way to build social presence to have a an all around social media presence on YouTube on your blog and also on Twitter and after that we have connect to Facebook currently we are reworking it and, and it will support posting to Facebook fan pages which means that uh, you'll be able to post uh, information about the latest videos on your blog to your fan page and this feature will be very handy to build up your social media presence on Facebook next we have delete this blog so this is for later maybe when you have uh, decided that you don't want to work with this blog any longer you can click on this it'll ask for a confirmation and if you say yes this blog will be deleted from the list let me sh uh, let me show you for example I'm gonna delete this and now this blog is deleted so this is what settings is all about I've given you a very brief overview I have told you about all the different utilities of each setting and what each setting does and I hope you will be able to use video Jeet properly you have understood what these do and you'll be able to uh, use this or right, just a final message before I go and the most important thing after you've put in all the settings you want click on the save settings button because that is what will save the settings to your computer this is Cyril Cheat Gupta signing out thank you for watching this video